there. Today we're going to be talking about the Horn 2. This is a larger version of the Horn 1. We made this for woofers that are slightly larger than 8 inches. We still recommend the larger size being 10. You might be able to stretch it to 12. I'm not sure if that'll work for you with your current crossover, but you can always make one that's got a second order or third order filter. But we recommend that you not go larger than 10 inches in size. Uh, what makes this horn two significantly different than horn one? Obviously the horn size is bigger. Uh, this is a 12 inch width. This is about a seven inch width. The motor is the same motor. It's the Bema CD171 FEPK. Same size motor. The capacitor is larger. This is a 10 microfarad capacitor. We will custom size the capacitor for you. This creates about a 2 kilohertz crossover. Acoustically, it probably starts crossing over and dropping significantly below 1 kilohertz. This driver will take that lower frequency, especially in combination with this horn, because the L pad here reduces the amount of power going to the compression driver. This will take somewhere around 100 watts of power, uh, maybe more than that. If the L pad is used properly, it reduces the decibel level of the horn by anywhere from 15 to 20 decibels or even more. You figure your average woofer doesn't play more than, I don't know, 88 decibels. If it's highly efficient, maybe 100. Even then, you're still reducing the power going to this so that with the crossover as low as even 1,000 hertz, uh, you're still in the safety zone regarding its power capacity. Um, like I said, this is a slightly smaller version. This is the bigger version of the two. You can see that the motors are the same. Significant difference in the horn size. Let's set this one aside for a moment and take a, take a look at this one. Now, this one's got a slightly different configuration on the bottom. Oops, I'll show you that here. If you can see, there is a, let me see if I can find it, capacitor right here. This capacitor is used to bypass the series component of the L-pad. What that means is, is it boosts the high frequencies above 10 kilohertz. Why do we do that? Because of the size of the horn. The bigger the horn gets, the more the frequency response is a bit truncated above, say, 10 kilohertz. It's down about 3 dB, around 20 kilohertz. We make up for that with the bypass resistor, which cre creates a shelf above 10K. By the time it reaches 20K, it's about 3 decibels back up again, which uh, levels out the frequency response. Otherwise, the same thing applies. We have an L-pad here. We have an adjustable capacitor. You can take this out, put a larger cap in. This is a clarity cap, 10 uh, microfarads. You could probably go to a 12, maybe, but that's kind of pushing it. If you re want a higher crossover point, such as with the horn one here, you can go with a 4.7. That's right around a 4 kilohertz with an acoustic roll-off of 2 kilohertz. So that would be for smaller woofers and smaller speakers. So if you've got a cabinet that can accommodate a 12 inch wide horn, you're good to go. Both of these compression drivers sound fantastic. This will play a little lower. It's designed to play down to like around 800 Hertz, um, but we have a first order crossover on that. So the cutoff's gonna be a little higher. So that's the story on the Horn 2. It is now available on our website at shizinsuaudio.com. That is the Japanese word for truth. Have a nice day, folks.